Now to one of the movies racing to the top of the box office this holiday week, Ferrari. It's a biopic full of fast cars and family drama. And Chris Connolly had a chance to talk to the movie's stars, Adam Driver and Penelope Cruz. They might be the sexiest stars of the holiday movie season. Not the humans, the 1957 sports cars in Ferrari. Their luscious reds, their sleek shapes, the thrill and danger as they're raced to the limit. It's a room with a viewpoint, that of Adam Driver's Enzo Ferrari. All of us are racers. It's our deadly passion. Our terrible joy. He's found his own method of coping with death. He's built a wall to, you know, shut off emotionally. Driver portraying an Italian legend nearly two decades older than he, the embattled, grief-stricken, demanding boss of the family business. That was the key to understanding who he was, that he was a racer first, someone who's very calm on the surface but has this constant engine going. You get the feeling he likes the drivers, but he loves the cars. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he kind of famously seemed uh, cold-blooded. His business is on the verge of bankruptcy because he's more interested in racing cars than he is uh, you know, be, being a salesman. The racing world itself is changing. You know, the death rate of drivers is 50 percent. So it's a very tumultuous time. Tumultuous, too, is his private life, a mistress and child he's hidden away. His wife, Laura, co-owner of the company, steeped in anger and loss, as Penelope Cruz tapped into when she visited the Ferrari's real-life residence. You could really feel the deep depression that she was having for so many years of her life. She had a difficult personality, but... But she's broken. She's broken, and that's what people didn't want to... To see, and I, that, that's why I took it as something personal, you know, the, the need of giving her a voice uh, because she represents so many other women in the world that also don't have one. You were supposed to save him! You blame me for his death? Each is devastated by the illness and death of their only son, Dino. They are broken like so many couples that never recover from the loss of a child. Hopefully that scene in the movie, you get the sense that this is the first time that they're saying these things out loud. We wanted all the accents to be subtle and then the idea that they're speaking to each other in their own language so they're not making, you know, a, a mistakes as if they're Italian speaking English. From the sounds of the cars to the spectacle of a race, director Michael Mann puts viewers on the track and in the driver's seat. We raced some contemporary Ferraris in Modena, and then I drove one of the chassis of one of the cars, and you are immediately aware of how dangerous they are. Did you ever drive one while you were, while you were on the set no, at any I, point? No, I, I sat in, in one of them with, with Adam in the garage of Piero <laughs> Ferrari, and I said, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> we um, I appreciate it from there, like in, without motion. It is kind of heroic in the way that those drivers were following an ideology that was more important to them than, you know, personal safety, which I think is very romantic. For Good Morning America, Chris Connolly, ABC News, Los Angeles. So cool. Yeah, that movie looks like fun. Mm -hmm. the car's pretty cool, too. Yeah. <laughs> Ferrari is in theaters right now. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.